TV sessions that are engaging, relevant, and authentic. If you're a teacher, an instructional leader, or other school administrator, and this sounds like you, then stick with me. Because today we're going to talk about how you can re-energize your staff, develop your leadership skills, and establish a culture where lifelong learning is valued using something called a pineapple chart. Hi, my name is Sarah, and I talk all about teacher tips, teacher life, and all things that make your classroom instruction targeted, effective, and engaging. If this sounds interesting to you, then be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. a pineapple chart is a giant calendar and generally it's run from month to month. It's a way to schedule monthly professional developments in your building or district that are facilitated by the teachers and staff members right there either in their classrooms or in other areas of your building. Teachers Teaching Teachers is one of the most authentic, relevant, and relatable forms of professional development. There is so much to gain from the different perspectives that your teachers and staff members bring either from their classrooms or from working with kids in their own capacities, whether that be mental health staff or speech and language. Everyone has different craft knowledge that they can offer in order to help grow our ability to work and meet the needs of students and help them to achieve at high levels. ways that pineapple charts can work. So I'm just going to share my experiences and how we made it work best for us. We created a large calendar and we put it in the hallway and this was actually intentional. Often you see things like pineapple charts in a staff room, but we wanted to make sure that our students were seeing that their teachers were learning from each other and therefore we were modeling that value of lifelong learning just by having it up in the hallway. So basically the pineapple chart itself is this big blank calendar that you'll fill in each month with little pineapple PD sessions. And the PD sessions are led by staff members right in your own building and district. That can be teachers, leadership, mental health staff, speech and language, PT, OT. Anyone can contribute their craft knowledge to help grow the staff and contribute to the high achievement of their students. Each month starts out with an empty pineapple chart. And as teachers or staff members get ideas about different things they'd like to share, they can sign up on any blank spot, whether that be before or after school, or sometimes even during the school day, if you have the capability to provide coverage for those situations. Often we want to invite teachers in during the day so they can see some of our different structures or the things that our kids are working on. Some of the things that we talk about, it helps to see right in action in the classroom. Other things can be hosted outside of the time when the students are there. And generally, pineapple PD sessions will be held right in the classroom of the teacher who's facilitating that pineapple. So if I signed up on the pineapple chart to show my colleagues how I use Google Forms for data collection, I would just put the time and then the room location and then just the title of the PD, whatever I decide to call it. So maybe like data collections with Google Forms. Then I just put it on the pineapple chart and as the teachers are walking by, they can see that I'm offering that and anyone who is interested can then come to my pineapple PD at the time and location that I specified. Throughout the month, anyone can sign up to host a pineapple whenever they may have a new idea or have come across a new resource they want to share or a teaching strategy. Anytime a teacher or staff member has something they feel is meaningful to share, they are welcome to schedule it on the pineapple chart calendar and then people know that that's something that they can go learn more about. This is amazing because teachers are choosing the professional development that is relevant to them. So some teachers don't need more support with technology. Some teachers need a lot of support with technology. We're cultivating this opportunity for our teachers to have choice in their learning. It's not one size fits all, just like not one size fits all for our students either. We want to grow our teachers in the areas that they need to grow. Sometimes a pineapple session may actually be kind of long and in that case often what you can do is just break it up into smaller sessions maybe throughout the month. So maybe I want to talk about standard-based centers and I know that there are way too many things that I would want to talk about or show my colleagues and out of respect for their time I'm going to break that 
that up maybe into three mini sessions every Wednesday of the month. That way it's not so overwhelming and I can deliver it in more manageable pieces. So now that's the basics of a pineapple chart. It's super simple. There's not really much to it. Just a giant calendar where everyone can sign up and share ideas. It's an amazing thing. It's not going to look the same district to district or building to building and that's okay. That's the beauty of it is that you can make it your own and so that it is meeting the needs of you and your staff members. to consider along with the pineapple chart is making a little poster where teachers can write down or can request pineapple topics. So for example, maybe I'm a teacher who is struggling with guided reading. And so maybe I specifically want to know how can I help my students become more fluent readers? I can just put that on the poster or on a sticky note next to the pineapple chart. So then as people are walking by the pineapple chart, not only are they seeing what's being offered already, but then they can see what other teachers or staff members are looking for. What do they need help with? And maybe I'm a teacher now that I see that that's a professional development that one of my colleagues is looking for and maybe I have a lot of experience with that or I just went to a conference about that. Now I can offer to put a pineapple on the chart so that I can then help to support that staff member who was looking to grow in that area. So you can see this is where it kind of all comes together where it's a really personalized approach to teacher development. And pineapples do not have to be formal professional developments. They do not have to have slide decks. They do not have to have presentations. They don't have to have guiding notes and all these extra things. It can look like a conversation between colleagues just sharing resources and looking at student work samples. It can also be a book study. It can be a teacher bringing back materials from a conference that they attended. Really anything that is going to grow the teacher to then be able to impact student achievement is something that can always be put on the pineapple chart. In every building or district you have certain staff members who are viewed as the expert in some areas and when we use pineapple charts we're really empowering those people to recognize their value and to offer offer that value to the people around them to help them grow. So in the end, what you end up creating is this culture of leaders, this culture of people who respect one another and respect their perspectives and respect their experiences and their craft knowledge and this whole just culture of lifelong learners. And that is one of the most cup filling things ever for a teacher. It gives them passion and motivation and purpose. And research shows that one of the greatest impacts on student achievement is when there is positive relationships between teachers. So some of you already have districts or schools with a culture that's going to be much more receptive to this idea than maybe some others, and that's okay. There's a few things that might help, and just to keep in mind about pineapples. I've said it, and I'll say it again, the pineapples do not have to be these formal, elaborate, professional developments like teachers are used to sitting through. What might seem like nothing to them really is something special and extraordinary to another teacher. Although we may stand up and teach in front of students every day, it does feel different to get up in front of our own peers and so sometimes your teachers or staff members are going to feel more comfortable doing a pineapple either with a friend or someone else at their grade level maybe even their whole grade level team or department team and that's great they can totally get together and share their ideas in a collaborative style rather than just a one person facilitator you may also find that your teachers are saying that there's nothing they can teach other teachers that there's nothing special about their teaching teachers teaching teachers is one of the most effective forms of professional development. Teachers have personally studied and researched, tried and tested their theories in their own classrooms. Their insight and daily experiences using these instructional models, strategies, systems, technologies, and other resources make them the experts in our field. They know what works and they know what doesn't. Although professional development from outside agencies can certainly have value, we need that perspective of people outside of our organization to push our thinking and to make sure that we are growing. But often there's a huge gap between the delivery of information and teaching the teachers these new things and then the teacher actually implementing them in their classroom, there's not really any support for the teacher. So often many new ideas and initiatives fail because when it's time to really get these things put in place, no one is there to help coach or to provide supports or the necessary resources. With a pineapple, you have the facilitators all built right into your school or your district and they can become the
the go-to person for their topic of expertise or topics of expertise. And so once you've shared your ideas, people know who they can go to with questions. And so there isn't that gap between I learned this new thing and now I want to try it. If there are things that that teacher needs, they know who to go to and they know where to get the supports that they need to feel confident and take that risk to try something new in their classroom. So that is the gist of a pineapple chart. And I think they're amazing. <laughs> if you can't tell, I love them. I think there is so much worth, there is so much value, and they are absolutely transformational. Every district, every building should be doing them and utilizing them. I feel that it's important to speak a little bit about what a pineapple chart is not. A pineapple chart is not a measure of staff dedication. We need to respect and understand that the way people adapt to change is different. And some people will be ready to come right along and some people will be a little more reluctant. And that's okay. This is not a reflection of our staff members' dedication to their students. I also had mentioned this before, but a pineapple chart is not a replacement for quality research-based professional development from an outside agency or consultant. It can be very dangerous to always be operating just within our four walls. So we need to make sure that we're always gaining perspective from someone outside of our organization so that it's pushing our thinking and that we continue to grow. A pineapple chart is not a competition between staff members, especially teachers and instructional coaches or staff developers. We all can learn so much from each other and our value is not determined by our title. We all have a common goal of increasing student achievement. So if this sounds like something that you think you're ready for, then my last tip for you is to do some research and get it all planned out in order because your staff will have a lot of questions and you may not be able to answer all of them and that's okay. You're going to take this approach as, well, it's new for me and we're going to learn this together. This is a new experience for all of us. And when you do finally have it all planned out and you're ready to roll it out to your staff, make it fun. When we rolled this out to our staff, we did a whole staff meeting luau party. We put a virtual beach up on the smart board and it had little music playing. Everyone got laid when they came in and we had mocktails and just Hawaiian decorations all over. And this sort of thing just really helps to get your staff excited about something new. And it sets the tone that this is going to be fun. It's informal and it's risk-free. I really hope that you will consider implementing a pineapple chart into your building or district. It doesn't matter where you are in the school year. It could be in the middle. It could even be towards the end. It's never too late to get started. There's always so much to gain. If you would like more help getting started with a pineapple chart in your building or district, I have created a pineapple chart kit that includes everything you need to create your pineapple chart and a ready to go slide presentation with slide notes for your staff rollout. I've even included my favorite tropical mocktail recipe and a link to a virtual beach that plays music so that you can have that going as your staff members enter the room. I'll provide the link to that resource in the video description. If you have any other questions about getting a pineapple chart up and running in your school or district, please leave me questions in the comments. I would love to help you get started. Thank you so much for joining me today and for watching this video all the way to the end. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please take a minute just to hit the like button so that other teachers can find it too. It really actually makes a big difference, so I'd really appreciate you just taking that extra step to help me reach more teachers. Thank you so much, and I hope that you all have an amazing week.